Music, music. Hello and Dobar Dan everyone. My name is Katerina Vrisk and I'm the author of Anthology of Slovenian Australian Musicians, Antologia Slovensko Australski Glasbeniko. Thank you for coming along today to celebrate the launch of this book and to celebrate the amazing musicians of the Slovenian Australian community. Before we get started, I would like to dedicate today's presentation to an amazing woman, Margaret McKean. Margaret Metka McKean. Margaret for many years was a chorister in the Slovenian Church Choir here at the Slovenian Mission in Melbourne. She led the church choir from 1998 to 2012 with precision and a dedication which was truly a passion. Margaret passed away on this day in 2012. She was my friend. I thank her husband Chris and her sister Janneke Elizabeth Rutherford for being here as my guests on this difficult day for them. I also today learnt about the passing of one of our previous nuns, Sister Paula Kalcic. I'd also like to dedicate today to her, and today also would have been the birthday of Ivan Horvat Jr., who is a musician in Kalantanya, and I also dedicate today to him. Please stand for the national anthems. Australians all, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil, our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In joyful strains, then let us sing. Advance Australia fair. Please be seated. Please stay on the stage, ladies. <laughs> ladies, don't run away. Just come forward. Come forward, please. Okay, um, I just want to say something before these ladies disappear. I'd just like to say something about these talented ladies. Um, Christine Ferrer, uh, her maiden name is Sesnik. Uh, Christine made her stage debut at age five, singing a Slovenian traditional song, Mojočka ma konička dva. Uh, my father has two horses. Very important song. She learned singing and many styles of dancing in her early years, competed in many estetfords and performed all over Victoria. She has sung in many annual Slovenian youth concerts, 
been a member of several bands and represented the Slovenian community many, many times. Congratulations, Christine. Then um, in the centre is Helen Trinick. Uh, her maiden name was Champel. Helen began singing with the band Drava, another uh, a Slovenian river, uh, in 1973. Well, that's the name of it, the Drava River in Slovenia. They performed Nagolici when they appeared on the TV talent show New Faces. Uh, in 1977, Pleninka was formed with Helen as their lead singer. She's been a member of the youth choir Glasniki and had a lead role in her school musical, Oliver. She auditioned for Channel 10's Young Talent Time, but was told she looked too old. <laughs> so she, she was only 12 and she didn't get a place in the show. Helen is now a member of the band Red Blossom, which started out as the Young Mums. So they're known as a Dechid Svet. She's also a member of the Slovenian Church Choir and she sings in duet with Anna occasionally. Thank you, Helen, for your And Anna Tegel, uh, her maiden name is Mandel. Anna started her musical career by playing the piano accordion. We haven't seen that yet. Which, she lasted, which lasted for 10 years. But her calling was with vocal music. She and her sister Maria formed a band in 1976 called Sava, another Slovenian river. There were five young women in this band originally, which was quite a novelty, especially as they sometimes wore either hot pants, which was the 70s, of course, and, uh, or very short leather hosen. After a couple of line-up changes, they had a male drummer, young Danny Simcic, who might be here in the audience. And um, Danny went on to be an international rock star with the real, with Real Life. It was a band called Real Life, but that's another story. Sava were the first Australian band to tour Slovenia and play at the Isaliansky Picnic. It's an immigrant's picnic, which happens once a year. Anna's son, Martin, also achieved high levels in piano, and her husband, Janko, sang in the Oka Octet. <laughs> Anna's parents, Peter and Eva Mundell, are longtime singers in a number of choirs. Congratulations, Anna, on your achievements. Music. And thank you, ladies. And I thank these ladies for singing the national anthem for me today. Before we go any further, I, I just have several apologies I'd like to read. Um, Mr. Alfred Brezhnik and um, previous long-standing Slovenian honorary consul for New South Wales and his wife, Yeni. Mrs. Jana Grilts, First Secretary of the Embassy of the Republic of Slovenia in Canberra. Father David Schrump, Leader of the Slovenian Catholic Mission in Adelaide. Mr. Lenti Lenko, SBS radio <coughs> presenter for the Slovenian language program and his wife, Rachel. Mr. Florian Alsa, Slovenian government representative for the Slovenian Australians in New South Wales. He's also head of Slovenian Media House in Sydney and one of the graphic designers for Anthology. And Mr. Peter Kropé, president of Slovenian Club Triglav Mounties Group in Sydney, a major sponsor of Anthology. I'd like to welcome my special guests today. Her Excellency Helena Donoshek-Zorko, ambassador at the Embassy of the Republic of Slovenia, Canberra, Mr. Peter Mandel, AMJP, President of the Council of Slovenian Organisations Victoria, and his wife Eva. Father Cyril Božić, OFM AM, Leader of the Slovenian Catholic Mission in Melbourne. Maria Ančić, Lay Missionary for the Slovenian Catholic Mission in Melbourne. Mr. Adrian Vatovac, Honorary Consul for Slovenia in Adelaide. Uh, Mr. Florian 
Oh, sorry, Florian is not here. Mr. Janis Mesric, Vice President of Slovenian Association Planica and his wife Senka. Alexandra Tseferin, President of the Institute for Slovenian Studies of Victoria Incorporated and publisher of cultural educational portal www.thesaurus.com. Mrs. Draga Gelt, Head of the Slovenian Dr Drama Group in Melbourne an active member of the Historical Archives of Slovenian in Australia, an archivist, Slovenian culture expert, and author of many books about Slovenian history, people, and culture. Mrs. Sonia Rutnik, Radio 3ZZZ Slovenian Program uh, Convener. Uh, and I do actually have um, a late apology. Um, is uh, I'm not sure if Mr. Frank Prosenik is here. I do know that uh, Mrs. Greta Prosenik had to leave um, urgently. So, but both Frank and Greta are Slovenian Australian musicians and sponsors of an anthology. All other guests, helpers in creating anthology, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sitting through that long list. <laughs> Slovenians love their choirs. They naturally fall into a voice to form a four-part harmony. Quite an amazing skill, but they do it so naturally, so easily. Men's choirs are especially loved. We are lucky today to be graced with the presence of the last of the men's choirs in Melbourne. Their name is Planica, the Slovenian word for the flower Edelweiss. And they are led by choir master Roland Carmody. Roland has led the choir since 1987, so that means that next year they celebrate their 30th anniversary. Um, and I know amongst, uh, um, amongst other songs they will perform a song called Slovenet Sem, which means I am a Slovenian. Please give a warm welcome to Tanika.
thank you to the um, men's choir, Planika, for um, performing today for me and in honour of all the choirs from the Bonagila Choir from 1952 in the migrant camp at Bonagila. Um, that's where the first choir started. Thank you very much for filling our day with some beautiful songs, some heartfelt songs. Thank you to Roland, their conductor, and also thank you to Peter Mundell, their manager. We have a short film for you to watch.
just a little taste of um, what has gone on for the last 60 years. Now, I'd like to um, invite the following people to come up to the stage. Debbie M. G., Joanne Dima, Janet Scoofus, Liz Rutherford, Draga Gelt, Maritza Patu, Sarah Woods. Could you all come to the stage, please? Now, while, they, while they're coming here, um, I would like to thank the, my sponsors. Um, I'll read them out because uh, they were a very important part of presenting anthology. The Minister Gorad Schmaltz from the Ministry of Slovenians Abroad in the Government of the Republic of Slovenia, the Triglav Mounties Group in Sydney, the Slovenian Catholic Mission St Cyril and Methodius in Kew, Melbourne, the Council of Slovenian Organisations of Victoria, Historical Archives for Sloven Slovenian Australians, Hussa, New South Wales, a Slovenian Media House, Mr. Alfred and Mrs. Jenny Brezhnik, Mr. Frank and Mrs. Greta Prosinik, and Mrs. M Ms. Maria Anjic. Without your financial support, it would have been di very difficult to bring this enormous project to fruition. I thank you for helping me to realise my dream. Thank you. Now, I couldn't bring this project to you either with such quality without the help of the people um, beside me. I'd like to thank each one and present the gift of a complimentary book which they had a hand in creating. Um, Debbie N.G. Debbie is a friend of a friend and offered herself as a proofreader. She read many stories before family commitments came in the way, but I'd like to thank her for her contribution. <laughs> Joanne Dima. Joanne is a secondary school classroom teacher, music, music and English teacher. We studied music teaching together. She read through all the stories from the beginning to the end, made her suggestions, corrected typos and grammar. She well deserves this book and she's a very busy person, but was always gracious towards me when I asked for just one more. <laughs> Janet Scoofus. Janet is a friend who I knew would be a good person to do one of the final proofreads. She's also an English teacher. She worked hard and fast to read the whole book, sometimes a chapter in one night. That'll make sense when you open the book. I appreciate her efforts. Liz Rutherford. Liz, or Janika, is my good friend from the church choir. She organised the choirs and bands in chronological order, so the order of years that they were around, uh, which was not easy to do as there are 44 choirs and 114 bands to sort through. She checked lists of mine to ensure I hadn't missed any stories. It was all work I just didn't have the time to do, but Liz so patiently and with the efficiency that she approaches with many aspects of her life completed it for me. Thank you. Draga Gelt. Draga was the one to tell me that I needed to do this project. She also suggested I just widen the scope a bit to include choirs and make it Australia-wide. I took her lead and decided to write about everyone musical I could find out about. So it's your fault. <laughs> it was difficult, but I think with my music background, it made it easier to understand the stories. And I thank you for sparking that in me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Maritza Petou. Maritza's father was of Slovenian heritage. Uh, her mother is Chilean. Maritza offered her skills and knowledge in documenting all the sources of information, the interviews and the photograph collections I used for anthology. When you see that section after the final chapter, you will realise how much meticulous work she did to create these sections. Maritza, you did this work in honour of your Slovenian father and I know he would be so proud of you. the daughter of a work colleague of mine. She's second generation art design visual communicator. She took on the job of designing the look of anthology even though I couldn't tell her how many stories or how many pages there would be. Sarah created the beautiful front cover of the book. She set up the chapters, organised the stories and just had that intuitive sense about how the photos should be used. She would, would have finished the book, however life got in the way, and she needed to get married. <laughs> um, Sarah worked on anthology um, for three years, 2012 to 2015. Thank you very much for your efforts. Okay, and I, even though he's not here, um, I would like to acknowledge Florian Alsa. Florian is not well at the moment, so he couldn't be here. He took over from Sarah's book designer and brought the stories to light from his knowledge of the New South Wales and Queensland communities. He worked above and beyond the call of duty and used his own photographic library freely. I will be able to deliver a book to him personally when I am in Sydney for an, another book launch on March the 20th, but we will acknowledge his effort in the last six months of the book. <laughs> now I will ask Joanne Dima to come and just say a few words on behalf of the um, anthology helpers. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I don't know my first one. <laughs> um, thank you. I'll be very brief, uh, but I would just... I'd like to say that um, Katrina, um, she's Katrina to me, I know she's Katarina as well. Um, we've been friends for 35 years when we met um, beginning our journey studying teaching and one of her greatest gifts at uni was her musicality, her friendship and her way of drawing people together and when I walked in today I thought, uh huh, you know, here she is again bringing people together to celebrate something very, very important. So Katrina is mother, friend, educator, and now author. How amazing, well done. Um, I considered proofreading an absolute privilege um, as I was able to gain an insight into the incredible array of music and the incredible gifted um, Slovenian people who've moved to Australia or, or travel between Slovenia and Australia. And I was um, really felt privileged to read those stories. And I've even seen people here today who I think I've seen photos of. I'm going, oh, I think I know you. Uh, because I know your surnames from reading about your journey. So that's so exciting for me. Um, and the choir today, wow. I just keep doing that singing. It's so beautiful. Just so thank you so much. Um, I'm going to try and say something in Slovenian now. So be prepared to laugh hilariously. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I took six lessons online last night on how to speak Slovenian. <laughs> so let's see how we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Draga, ooh, okay. Draga, Priyateljica Katarina, Jestitske ste pametna, Jeska, Imamo, Imamo te radi. <laughs> Thank you, we loved what we did. Okay, um, 
Thank you for that, Joanne. That's that was just incredible, actually. <laughs> Gee, it's six lessons. Wow. And you even had the Skalanyat there, right? Um, I'd like to invite my father, Tony Brisk, and my son Thomas Scott to the stage. Sorry, there's a bit of a traffic jam in Isle, Centre Isle. <laughs> We've had a big week, as you can see, um, from Thomas. I had a lovely suit. Um, we specially bought that a month ago with a lovely jacket and a nice white shirt. He was going to have a tie. And unfortunately, on Monday, he broke his wrist. And I, we spent the next three days in the hospital. So it has been an incredible week. But we're both here, aren't we? <laughs> okay, I probably need, need my glasses for this. The main reason why I wrote this was to document my father's story. Don't, don't. He was initially self-taught musician and played in a band in a migrant camp in Aston, Austria, in the mid to late 1950s. When he came to Australia, he had some lessons with a Polish music teacher who asked him to play with him in the jazz band. Not having a car made it difficult and he soon had to give it away. He was coaxed into joining a band, Slovenski Fantje, Slovenian Boys, in 1971 by accordionist Ivan Hadze, who sadly is no longer with us. They played one gig, the first New Year's Eve dance for the new Slovenian club, Planica. People danced so much that in one section of the dance floor, the floorboards broke. <laughs> that night was the start of another 30 years involved in music. I would like to thank you for passing on the gift of music, as I have now passed on the gift to my son and would like you to accept this copy as our legacy to the Slovenian Australian community. Thank you. Oh, you'd like to say something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not on the page. <laughs> One thing written down. Thank you, Katrina. Uh, well, you know the history. Uh, I'm unbelievable that uh, where I started my music or well, in the place in Rijeka, it called a little restaurant uh, called uh, Zlatna Skolka or Golden uh, Seashell. Golden Seashell, yeah. <laughs> And there was a bloke uh, playing Hawaiian guitar, and there I see it. I love that sound. I said, "No, I cannot throw this. I, I think I could manage a bit something." But I never thought that that moment would come into this book. <laughs> that was at least something. What I didn't think it gonna happen anyway. Thank you very much, daughter. You're the greatest to me. Uh, and uh, I thank you for the book. I pray the Did you want to say something to us? No, okay, all right. <laughs> He's um, not very happy about showing his arm. All right, um, okay, where are we? I think, um, uh, now let's see. <laughs> um, there were uh, many other families like mine with generations of musicians, and I want to thank them for opening up and letting me in to write about their stories. Some had tears in their eyes, in appreciation for my efforts, and it kept me going. And one such family is the Petalin family. 
Franz Petelin was born in 1927 and made it over the border to Austria, ending up in Aston refugee camp where my parents lived and met. Here Franz played his accordion to pass the time and this is where sometimes he and my father met to play some music together. He even travelled on the same ship as my parents to come to Australia. Franz was sent to Bonagila migrant camp near Albury but was soon transferred on to work in the sugar cane fields in Queensland. When his brother arrived, Ivan, Ivan Petalin, he brought a button accordion as a gift for Franz, so he had his beloved accordion once more. Franz was then able to inspire and pass on the knowledge to his young son, Frank. Despite this, Franz never played publicly in Australia. And I'd like to introduce today Franz's son, Frank, and his son, Anthony. Frank's legacy, uh, Franz's legacy lives on in his son Frank, who was a proficient button accordion player, singer and now guitarist. He has played many solos, but is also known for his band work as well. His current band is the Woodchoppers Ensemble or Ensemble Jagari. Frank is passing this love of music on to his two sons, Anthony and Marcus, and we are lucky today as we will hear Frank's son Anthony perform the unofficial Slovenian anthem, Dolini Tihi, in the quiet valley with his father. Thank you.
thank you very much. Oh, don't tell me anywhere. First of all, a special little something for someone who's starting school and who's a musical person. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, I would like to now uh, invite to the microphone Her Excellency the Ambassador to Australia of the Republic of Slovenia, Mrs. Helena Donoshek Zorko, and present her with a copy of Anthology of Slovenian Australian Musicians. Thank you. Thank you, Katerina. This is my personal copy. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. I mean, after so many music and um, history and stories, it's difficult to say something more. Um, and um, what Katerina said in her for foreword and introduction is worth reading and it's it's much better than anything that I could think of. And she quotes uh, an amazing musician, Herbie Hancock, that music is an art form that transcends language. And Katerina, I think that creativity is also something that transcends different art forms. That you are not only a musician, you are also an amazing writer. And I would like to thank Draga Geld to let you do it. And maybe discovered another stream of your creativity, which I'm not sure that will make your son Thomas really happy. Because when we, last time when I was here, um, you showed me the printout of the book. And the story behind is that Thomas hardly so not his maybe he's seen he saw you but always with a book and with a copies for the past six and something years so thomas i hope you got your mother back <laughs> and i i want to use you and anthony for something else so you are the third generation generation of slovenians here in melbourne in australia you're also third generations of musicians which is an amazing achievement of the Slovenian community. And I think it's an amazing legacy that you are leaving here to Australia and also to Slovenia. To Slovenia on its 25th birthday we are celebrating this year. Um, it's the numbers here shows that um, Slo Slovenian identity here and you are very, very much alive. And of course, we are getting older, but there are traces of your legacy, more or less visible everywhere, everywhere around Australia. And I will be very proud tomorrow. When I will go to Geelong, I'll be there on the official visit. Um, and I will be able to present the mayor of Geelong with this copy, the same, not mine personal, but another one of this book. And I will be very, very proud to do the same um, when I will visit uh, South Australia in two weeks' time. Uh, Adrian, thanks for organizing this. Being an amazing musician, an amazing Henry Consul of Slovenia, and someone raised from the, and, and growing up from the Slovenian community. Um, you made... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you made uh, my eyes full of tears. I just want to say, it's my third time in Melbourne. I'll be back in April for the Seslovinsky Lubinsky concert. It's full time. So what's happening in Melbourne? A lot. And thank you for that. Thank you. Ambassador for attending today. 
And now I would like to introduce the head of the Slovenian mission here in Victoria, Father Cyril Božić. Semedini, ki sem ves čas pestvo do knjiva, Katarina. Ves čas pomaši, tako kot sem prišel tja, ko ste začeli, pa do zdaj. Eni so še le zdaj dobili, ste dobili knjige. Jaz sem bil pestvo. Latinski prevov pravi, poeta nasitur orator fit. Pesnik se rodi, pisatelj se naredi. So the poet is born, the writer is made. Tvoj primek je risk. Kako bi to rekli po slovensko? The surname translation in English, risk, the surname, it's a happy or joyful, or more it's an exclamation or something like that. Exclamation. Tako se mi zdi, da že tvoj prijimek je povesal gene, ki si jih dobila od staršev, od mame Anice in očeta Toneta in jih potredovala tudi sin od Tomašu, da si videla preširno več sojnice tam gor nad Kipom v Ljubljani, pravijo, da nam je nekaj vsojnega, nekaj nam je dano, da nekam smo poklicani, po kraščansko bi rekli, imamo poklic, imamo svoje poslanstvo na tem svetu. In ti si naredila s tem projektom, da tako rečemo res, torej ogromno in čestitke Katarini Staršen in hvala lepa, da imamo danes lepo pozdravljena gospa veleposlanica in seveda vsi gostje, spoštovani Adrian iz Južne Avstralije in vsi drugi boskandari, glasbeniki in ljubitelji slovenske glasbe. Ko sem napovedoval današnje srečanje, tukaj je predstavitev tvoje knjige, Katarina, sem povedal, da bo to odlično praznovanje slovenskega kulturnega praznika. Cankar je napisal, da je slovenski jezik jezik pesmi, petja in vriskanja. In spet smo pri vriskanju. Spet smo pri vrisku. Tako, da vse to si povezovala slovensko petje, pesem, glasbo v tej deželi pod Južnim križem, kako se ne bi prešel danes skupaj s Lomškom in s svetima bratoma, Cirilom in Metodom, ki sta zavetnika našega misijona, kako se ne bi veselili v nebesi, da v tej deželi pod Južnim križem 17-18 tisoč kilometrov iz Slovenije iz potriglava odmeva slovenska pesem, slovenska beseda. To je čestitke in vse dobro Božjega žegna naprej in naj beseda in pesem še dolgo odmevata. Dokter bo pesem živela, slovenska pesem, tudi če bomo govorili med sabo po angliškom, so long as Slovenian song will echo in this country, even if we speak English, so the Slovenian culture, the Slovenian melody will be alive in our hearts and in our place of our new country, Australia. Čestitke in naj povem še, knjiga je res obsežna, jaz pravim se jo pestvo zdaj kar eno uro in je kar težka že kot kašen dojenček. Ja, 7 kilos. 1.7 kilos. In so book has 664 pages, 75 recordings on two CDs, CDs for some of those musicians, squires and bands. Tisti, ki ste naročili knjige, lahko danes dobite, tudi v prodaji so. So you can buy the book today, the price is $95, and CD set, two set, two CDs, $30, and Katarina will sign your book. Here is the small table over there, yeah. No rush, Katarina says, and then we will have lunch, lunch prepared by Društvo Svetejeme, hvala našim prijemni kuharicam in članicam, in prijemno gremo še oznamenje hvaležnosti. 
ena lepa rožica, di se tašna mrdeča mle in tale barva, tale orhideja najte razveseljuje današnji dan in pri tvojem ustvarju. In samo še Katarina si rekla, da bomo še nekaj smolili, ne? Predno, če lahko še nekaj rekam, rečem, a better if I say it in English, actually. I'd like to donate this copy to the library here at the mission and so that lots of people can borrow it and read. Thank you. So that's... Thank you. And if I can, just before Father says a prayer before lunch, um, I just would like to let you know that on, uh, well, fingers crossed, on the 25th of February in the port of Copper, which is the, um, the port where freight comes into in Slovenia, my books will be arriving. Um, and within a week of that, so in about two weeks, we'll have them. So if anybody would like to give a copy to someone over um, over in Slovenia rather than posting it because it is 1.7 kilos. It will be very expensive, okay? So it might be easier to organise here, um, payment and so on, we'll get the address and it either can be collected or at a small fee we can deliver, all right? So please keep that in mind um, and you can share this. A lot of the... Um, last couple of generations speak English, so a lot of them can read it and certainly they can look at some of the nearly 1400 photographs that are in there. Okay, that concludes the formal part. I want to thank you again, everyone. I want to thank all the performers today, the choir, the Petalin um, fellows and uh, the ladies at the beginning. Um, thank you to all of them. I also would like to thank Grant up in the box, Grant Johnson, Francis's husband. I've got a little something for you, but um, a bit hard for you to get down that ladder at the moment. Um, uh, so I'll catch up with you. I'd like to thank my helpers, my good friends Annette and Josephine, who um, are going to help me sell the books. We will be here for quite a while. I'll certainly be here for most of the afternoon. Please don't rush. I will be able to, um, you know, give out uh, the pre-orders and selling uh, the copies to those of you who've been waiting. Okay, all right. So no rush and um, double tick. Okay. Zamolito, instead of the prayer, we got still here choir pladika, and everybody can sing. Bomo zapeti, lepa si, lepa roža Marija. Saj eno kitico. This one verse, that's our prayer for today's lunch. Lepa si, it's the prayer dedicated to Mary. Lepa si, lepa roža Marija. Lepa si, lepa si,